Hello, welcome back to Mirror Interpretation Todorova's page. My name is Ioana and I am an interpreter and today I am making this video again uh, for you because Zaza requested for me and this is a video that I will call working hours or a freelance hour schedule shall I work 24 7. Okay, before I start I could say uh, if you like this video, press like, subscribe, share, comment, request an information. I'm happy to make these videos for you guys. All right, so I'm going to start sharing my experience as a telephone interpretation and how I started and how I figured out my schedule. Uh, I was norm normally working in business to business and I started to interpret as a medical interpreter over the phone some years back here in America, only as medical, right? So my customer told me that their needs will be for Monday to Wednesday and they give me a certain time of hours. I decided to experience those hours for over the phone interpretation and see what is the length of the call and when I can do the money. So I base my schedule and my working hours on the time that I will do the most money. I don't want to sit, be online, wait, and there is no calls or be bored or whatever. I don't get bored, but in general, so I experiment. I, I log on online anytime out of this schedule just to see if there were any need or any calls. I will tell you what this created for me. This created for me a very serious chain of customers which for which hospitals and so on. I provide the five languages that I speak as an interpreter. They are constant, not only for these three days, but right now after some years later, I have a full-time schedule from Monday to Friday, more or less, for those hours and I make more money. But this is something that worked for me, that I created, that I try it. Before I choose my schedule, I experiment with the time. I was online at night, at day, and I will tell you, if I forgot my phone, my, my working device on at night, it's going to ring anytime, one, two, three, four, five, in six in the morning. In the beginning, I tried to took all the calls, day and night. I did try to work 24-7. I would sleep in the evening. My sleeping routine will shift. I noticed that for me working at night, it was just very few calls and I was not doing enough money for myself, for my personal stimulation to keep working at night. So what I discover or what I tried doing, I choose not to work at night. So for this customer, I do not accept calls from 11 p.m. until 6 a.m. Mountain Central Time. Sometimes this customer does send me calls and they know they can do it if it's emergency, if it's a police department, if it's 911 or emergency. I said to all my customers that if it's an emergency line, I am willing to be disturbed at night and any time. But out of that, these calls are very few guys. I work my schedule, the one that I discovered that was allowing me to do maximum profit, which means I was online, the calls were coming and I was making money, I was not just sitting, correct? With my other customer, one, with one of my other customers, they provide me a shift. They said to me that their call volume is from 2 p.m. American Standard Time until 8 p.m. I said, wonderful, let me give it a try. Guess what? They had zero call volume for this specific time frame, but with this same company, I experiment and I find out that I am providing services for UK and Australia. So I was providing services for these countries in a special time gap, their evening hours or their late hours or their very early hours, correct? 
So the call volume for this company so far has been and has worked for me from 4 a.m. until 8 a.m. That's it. That's the time that I can do money with this company. I, it's worth it for me to wake up and do that to try to make money with them. So uh, Zaza asked me, my particular client will call me on the phone and ask me to go to the hospital at any hour, even 1 a.m. Shall I give availability? Okay, guys, I am nobody to let you uh, know what is best for you and to make you choose, but I will give you a few hints how to decide what is best for you. First of all, I will advise you to find out what is the necessity of your customer, what is the maximum need of your services. If that's during the day, if that's during the evening, or if it's from 3 to 6, or if it's late from 11 to 3. You have to find out what your customer need the most, and when they need you the most, and create availability on the base of your customer needs. That is called personalized services. You have to be flexible, but you cannot be 24 hours 7 available. Because I will tell you why it's not good for you to be constantly available if you are your own boss. Because you're not going to be able to provide best services and you're not going to be able to get maximum out of your work and out of your everyday life. So, first of all, discover their maximum ability or a need for you when they need you the most during the day or during the night. When is the volume? When is the maximum necessity? And give availability on the base of the time that you can do the maximum money. All right? Talking about in-person interpretation, for me personally, to be booked to work in medical field, they need to give me at least 24 hours notice, but most of the biggest company work with three days and three business days of a notice, not just three days. Three business days notice in advance to book you, they have to book you for at least two hours, they pay for your mileage, at least 50 cents for me, uh, and they pay me the certain amount for hour. If they call you, as you said, last minute, I am calling you right now, hi, is this account to interpret for me? There is a rule, it's not written rule, but biggest company use those rules, it's called last minute booking. The price is triple. If I, let's say, normally take $30 an hour and you call me and you want me to drive to the hospital at 1 a.m., I will ask you for $90 an hour plus my gas, minimum of interpretation charge for me to get up there is two hours. It doesn't matter if you interpret one minute, five minutes, one hour and 45 minutes, you get paid for two hours. If they exceed the two hours after 15 minutes, you decide if you want to charge them per hour or per minute. This except on you guys. But I will tell you one thing. If you're going to accept last minute calls and you're going to get up at 1 a.m. to drive to the hospital to interpret, you have to request money for that. If they don't pay you the amount, then you have to wake up every night to go there for one hour and come back. This for me personally, it's not worthy. But you have to decide what is working for you, what is worthy for you. But so Zaza, to answer your question, how to give a schedule and availability, I will advise you, and this is something that I do with the hospitals when I go to interpret in person, I talk with the receptionist and I tell her, for in-person interpretation, I prefer you guys book me Fridays for your, for your hospital. As I speak five languages, please, if you need any of those other languages, make consecutive appointments. 
So if I come in the morning at 8 and there is three appointments I have at 9, at 10, 11, and 12, or whatever. If they are two hours each, they will be from 1 to 11, from 11 to 1, from 1 to 3, basically. So I know that I'm not wasting my time and they are also having some structure, some base. So make sure you organize yourself, make sure you um, find a way to satisfy the needs of your customer because your customer is your boss, the hospital, and find a way to make it that works for you. For me personally, working at night for the same rate as day, I refuse. But except to use Zaza if they pay you great amount of money, if they pay you the extra money to get up at night at last minute. I will tell you, if somebody wake me up at 1 o'clock and ask me to drive to the hospital and they pay me $100 an hour, I will ask minimum of $300 for a night shift like that, last minute call, but except on you, that's your business, that's your relationships, and that's how if you want to do a certain amount of money or if you really need them. But one thing I could say for sure that bugged me if I was working at night, I was not doing enough money to cover my missed sleeping hours and this was affecting my performance during the day. So I did not have a script for this video as I just make it like that on the spot for you. I hope it was useful guys, whoever works as an interpreter. I hope you like this video, press like, press and subscribe, share, comment, ask a question. I'm happy to make videos for you. I'm happy to share. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and bye-bye.